Cornhusker Nation, Nebraska basketball, this is pathetic. I'm sorry, y'all. I've only been covering Nebraska football for the last couple months, but I had a buddy last night tell me, hey, you should bet tonight on Nebraska basketball. They play Northwestern at home. Northwestern's horrible. So I thought to myself, maybe I'll throw a little cash on. And I looked before the game. And before the game, Nebraska had lost their last nine in a row. They were 0-11 in the conference. And I thought to myself, why would I even ever consider putting money on this Nebraska basketball team? And I watched the game last night. I didn't bet on it. And I had to turn it off with about 10 minutes in because it was so ugly. Now, I will say this. The Nebraska basketball team has a lot of potential. There's a lot of good players on that team individually. But as a team, in my 20 plus years of covering college basketball, it might be the worst Nebraska basketball team I've ever seen in my life. In all 20 plus years. And I decided last night after watching the rest of the game, you know, I thought, what's the issue here? What's going wrong? And I decided the clear, obvious answer was Freddie Hornberg, the head coach. Now, I've made a couple of videos talking about Nebraska basketball here and there, and I've mentioned Freddie Hornberg played in the NBA, coached in the NBA, was at Iowa State, went to a couple NCAA tournaments. But since he's been at Nebraska in 2019, it's been nothing but a disaster. Okay, and again, it's nothing against Hornberg. I actually like Freddie. I thought when he came in, you know, he was going to completely turn around Nebraska basketball. But they've gotten worse. They're 6-17 and 17 this year. Okay, and I never really had any intentions of covering Nebraska, uh, Nebraska basketball because they were always, you know, kind of mediocre. They weren't horrible. They weren't great. But they are terrible right now. It is pathetic to watch this team play. I mean, they got blown out last night by Northwestern, who's, you know, almost dead last in the conference. So, you know, I feel bad for my buddy who bet on them last night. But this team is absolutely horrible. And it starts from the top because there's a lot of talent on this team. It's not that Nebraska doesn't have the facilities. It's not that Nebraska isn't in a good conference. It's not that Nebraska doesn't have the money and the fans to back the program. It's the head coach. It's obvious. I'm sorry to some of you fans out there that, you know, might be a huge Freddie Hornberg fan, but I'm just telling it as I see it. So I want to hear from you guys in the comments below who you guys think Nebraska should get as their next head coach. Maybe they bring up an assistant. Maybe we look somewhere in the NBA. Maybe we look somewhere in the Pac-12, you know, SEC. There's a couple coaches in those conferences, you know, that have left and there's, you know, they need a new job. So I want to hear what you guys think in the comments who Nebraska should get as the new head coach. Because, you know, after this podcast, after this video, I'm going to call up Trev Alberts. I'm going to call Trev up. I'm going to say, Trev, we got to figure something out with this basketball team. Because I made a video about Scott Frost saying I thought he should have been fired after going 3-8 and eight last year. Now, I don't know who's had a worse year, Fred Hoiberg or Scott Frost. I also want to hear what you guys think in terms of that. Who's had a worse year, Fred or Scotty? Again, not hating on these guys. You know, I wish them nothing but the best. I want to see Cornhusker Nation succeed. But I got to call it as I see it. 6-17 and 17 on a 10-game losing streak, 0-12 in conference. I mean, we got to stop the bleeding. I mean, when, when do we step in, Trev? Do we step in when it's a 15-game losing streak and we're 0-18 in the conference? And we're the laughing stock of college basketball? I mean, it's embarrassing, man. It's embarrassing. So that's really all I got to say. I just thought I had to talk about this after watching last night's game against Northwestern. It was in Lincoln. You know, I just feel bad for those fans. I feel bad for the players because they have a lot of potential. But it starts from the top. And Freddie Hornberg's got to go. 